All right. Hi, guys. This is Miss Dupe. It is Wednesday, August 25th. I wanted to give you some directions and some notes for today's paper. So what you are going to do is start on this paper. Make sure you put your name on it first. And then you are going to go through and complete these first two questions from your notes yesterday. You are also going to complete the rest of this page on your own. So I'll give you some hints. The first is number one through eight. Make sure you do your numerator divided by your denominator to get your answers as your fraction turned into a decimal. The second tip I am going to give you is that so far a decimal is terminating when it ends. So this is a decimal that ends. So for example, 0 0.5, 0 0.25, and even 0 0.3155, those are all terminating decimals because they end. So next you are going to do numbers 10 through 15 and also 16 through 21. You are going to change all of these from decimals to fractions. Remember, in order to do this, you're going to type in the decimal. So for the first example, you have 10.256. Once you type that in, you're going to hit second, and then PRB, and hit enter, and it will change these decimals to fractions. So number 10 through number 21, you are going to complete on here. Now, for the last part of the paper, these are our notes that you are going to learn today. So we're gonna go over this part together. So all of this is me and you. So once you get to number 21, hop back on this video and do this part with me. So there are two ways to tell if a decimal is repeating. We talked about one of the ways yesterday when we had a repeating decimal. It was 0 0.7333333 in the calculator. And basically the only reason it stopped is because there was no more room on your calculator screen. So there's two ways that we can express this number. We can write all these threes and then we can put a dot 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 at the end saying that it's going to keep going on forever and ever. Or we can write it the other way that we talked about yesterday, which is 0 0.73. And since the number three is the number that's repeating, we put a line over it. Repeating decimals always have this number in their denominator. So repeating decimals in fraction form in the denominator always have some sort of nine in the bottom. So there's a cool way to remember this. If there's only one digit that's repeating, then there's one nine on the bottom. For example, if there's just threes that are repeating, then it would be three over nine. If there are two digits, like let's say 0 0.23233 dot dot dot, then this would be 23 over 99. And if there's three digits, then it would be 999 on the bottom. So we're going to go ahead and convert, convert these, <clears throat> excuse me, decimals to fractions. And these are all repeating decimals. So number 24, the very first one, is 0 0.7676. So there are two numbers that are repeating in this, the 7 and the 6. So you would draw the line over two numbers. That means that you're going to have two nines in the denominator. So the numerator is going to be 76 and the denominator is going to be 99. Now, there is also something super important that we have to do, and that is reducing. So in order to reduce, or you might be familiar with simplifying a fraction, we're going to use this button on our calculator called the ABC button. The ABC button will allow you to put this fraction in the calculator and reduce it. So if you type in 76 
and then the A, B, C button gives us our little like fraction bar, but it kind of looks like that in the calculator. And then 99 into the calculator and hit enter, it will reduce it for you. So I'm doing it right now. 76 over 99 actually doesn't reduce. So let me get my eraser here. This is actually gonna be your final answer. But you'll need to make sure that you check all of your answers to make sure they're reduced. So as you see, number 25, there's a bar over three numbers, so three, five, and eight. Those are all repeating, so that means we're going to have 358 over three nines, since three numbers are repeating, 999. Now, same thing, you're gonna wanna go into your calculator and do 358, ABC, 999, hit enter, since it came out as the same answer over again in your calculator, it is fully reduced. So this example, number 26, even though the number is cut off, is 1.222 repeating. The only number that's repeating is the number two. Since there's a one in front of the decimal, that means this is gonna be a mixed number, so we're gonna have a big one. And then 2 is the number repeating, so we're only going to have one 9 on the bottom. Once again, you'll want to check this in the calculator. So if you hit 2 ABC 9, it stays as 2 ninths. So 1 and 2 ninths is your fully simplified reduced answer. Number 27, 3.21 is our decimal we need to change to a fraction. Once again, this is gonna be a mixed number because there's a three in front of the decimal. The numbers that are repeating are two and one. So 21 is gonna go on the top. Since two numbers have the bar over it, there's two numbers repeating, so we will have two nines. Number 28, this is a mixed number. We have 10 off to the side here. Oh, you know what I didn't do? check and see if we could reduce 21 over 99. So let's really quick do 21 ABC 99. And you know what, we can, so it's a good thing we went back. So this can actually reduce to three and seven over 33. And that should be your fully simplified reduced answer. Sorry about that. So now we're gonna go back to number 28 we have 10 as our whole part of this mixed number, and then nine, eight, six, and four are all repeating, so this is gonna be a big one. Since there are four numbers repeating, we're gonna have four nines on the bottom. Now, this one, my guess is, since this is such a large fraction, this is gonna spit it back up as a decimal, which it does, so you can go ahead and just leave it like this and I will be fine even if it's not fully reduced. The very last one, number 29, is a trick, okay? As you can see, it's 0 0.42874287, so we need to figure out which numbers are actually repeating, which it looks like 4287 are the only numbers that repeat. So these are four numbers, so four, 287 is going to be our numerator, and then we'll have four nines on the bottom since four numbers are repeating. Once again, if you type 4287 in your calculator, ABC 9999, it's going to spit back out the same decimal that you were just doing. So I will allow you to keep it this way. All right. Now you're gonna get on to a quizzes and complete that. So go ahead and do that now. Good luck.